Listen. Bad Education is a film that premiered at TIFF that I didn't get to catch, but Zach did. And now that it's out on HBO, I got a chance to see it. I loved it so much that I had to get the director to explain it to me. We wanted to take this really specific story and use it to, um, to say something about sort of the, the systems that, incur that incentivize us all to do bad things. Let me explain. So Bad Education tells a true story of the $11 million plus duped from the Roslyn School District, considered to be the largest step from an education system in American history. A lot of people have been calling it Hugh Jackman's best performance, and I would agree. Yet when it sold to HBO at 2019's TIFF, it was considered ineligible for the Oscars. But boy, did that change quick. So if you haven't caught it yet, go do so. This is a full spoiler warning right here, even though it is a true story, because it's one of the most, one of the best of the year in my opinion, and it's available from your couch. So the movie's written by Mike Mikowski, who actually went to the high school when it happened. Whether you like it or not, I was playing you. And I can only assume there are a bunch of Easter eggs and throwbacks for the alum that they've been catching, and I'm sure the current class is gonna meme that. They just, they want me to write an article about the Skywalk. The Skywalk. The Skywalk. The Skywalk that gets us to first. The, the Skywalk. Skywalk. Rachel's uh, uh, bedroom in the movie was my childhood bedroom. They, they changed the wallpaper, though, I didn't. But, um, <laughs> Slightly. Yeah. Same stuffed animals, though. Frank Dassone is the main guy we're following. He's a superintendent of Roslyn High School with the sole purpose of... He was number one! He's wooing the book club mommies to get the votes he needs for the Skywalk budget. He has flashcard stats on his faculty. He really was a guy who went above and beyond to give these kids a good education. 15 years, he'd written a, a column in the school, or in the, in the local newspaper, every single week just talking to parents and addressing their concerns. That said, he also spent $800,000 a year on his Manhattan apartment using the school's car. Alice and Jenny plays Pam, who was also in on all this. Thing is, she let everyone in her family get a card. All I'm over here stingy with my HBO password. Just put it on the card. <laughs> Jimmy Tatro, who plays your son, can get away with vandalism, but putting $30,000 worth of supplies all in one day isn't gonna go unnoticed, especially when you also have... Do you think anybody could ever find out about the PlayStation? I might have also done a little early Christmas shopping, 1600 at Lord & Taylor and another 12 at Macy's. Yet, before Pam can even stick it to them, she's also too busy getting flashy. What did I tell you? You don't buy anything, you hear me? They forced Janny to pay back the $250,000 they found missing, which this lady spends so much that when she heard that number, she thought it was pocket change until she heard, And you'll finish out the work week and resign quietly. And so Janny hits that pitch that won her the Oscar. Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. Pam hands all the proof to Rachel, the school's journalist, researching contract bids for the school, because in her eyes, she wasn't doing anything wrong. And it's ironic in the movie's timeline, because if it wasn't for them actually caring, they would have never been caught. It's only a puff piece if you let it be a puff piece. That said, they did all have jet skis in real life, and, you know, obviously they couldn't film that for safety reasons in the movie, so instead they had this deleted scene. You know, we have this motif throughout that was always a part of Mike's script of the dripping ceilings as sort of the, you know, the slow drip drip of information, or the, there's there's something up there that's going to come down on all of our heads, this sort of, sort of Damocles image. We put, you know, um, renowned movie star Hugh Jackman under a giant deluge of water that came out of the ceiling. Um, in like our big stunt and the very last thing that we shot, I had been so attached to this idea. This was going to be the big moment of the movie. It was like probably the most expensive thing we did, I would imagine. Yes. And it just didn't uh, have the effect that we thought it was. Because Frank accuses Phil the auditor of falsifying records, that now gives Phil the fear to not speak up on his findings, something that Frank is frankly too good at. I know what you all did to Pam. And I could, you know... I just noticed that necklace you have on out it really compliments your eyes what do we think is that is that a macy's purchase or are we talking lord and taylor collection special utilities you said yeah either way those expenses aren't going away and they've noticed twenty thousand dollars dropped for a first class flight to london with a side piece fifty five thousand dollars in weight loss doctors pizza ovens even though the school's leaking and that eight hundred and three thousand dollars a year for the Manhattan apartment that they've had for a decade. 
It's only a puff piece if you let it be a puff piece. Uh. Pam's family picture ends up being the only perfect thing about them, so she snitches, Frank gets arrested in Vegas, Jenny in the special utilities gets arrested, and they even showcase Frank's domestic partner of 33 years, which I'll leave this link right here so that the real guy can talk about his open relationship. He'll probably even have his own series on the matter soon, but it's interesting to hear his thoughts on Hugh's performance of himself. And he actually defended me and said I was a very good superintendent. But I think he did a good job playing me, especially at the end when, you know, I'm in prison and I walk out because I did lose all of that because of greed and because I made a terrible error and I broke the law. Oh, you still got it. While the ending line is a crazy one for the movie, the real life documents on the investigation are insane claiming that the volume of stuff missing is just too great for them to ever know how much they truly spent. The most important character in my eyes is Rachel, a composite character made up of the school's journalists as well as others who broke the story that are still unknown. There was some stuff that we shot and ended up pulling out of the movie that did happen in real life uh, involving an anonymous letter. Uh, I'll just I'll just say that and encourage Ooh. anyone to read about it. So there will definitely be more adaptations of this and hopefully one day we find out who spilled the tea. The screenwriter talked about how the school budget, what, the, what they had to play with back in 04, was $82 million, if it gives you a figure to think about. And I love how in their site, it conveniently stops the record of construction projects prior to 07, but that's the point, you know? Multi-million dollar projects are the key because it's so easy for a hundred grand to get lost when you're dealing with 80 mil. Kind of like all that PPP small big businesses have been taken, but of course they returned all of it. Frank is just a guy wondering why his hard work can get the Karens of the neighborhood the life they want, but supervising their future hasn't earned him some eye cream. Because education has always been one of the great like way, uh, means of, of generational wealth uh, mm -hmm. distri you know, uh, keeping your, your line going sort of by investing in your kid's education. There's a scene in the movie where Frank recognizes a bartender who was actually one of his students from 15 years ago, which I found funny because I was also like, Hugh having deja vu. You guys don't know that, but this man here, <laughs> yes, I used to teach you at Uppingham School in London. Yes, that's right. Oh, no! How is your education going? But it really is crazy to see the alum that came out of Rosalind. Michael Crichton, who wrote Westworld and Jurassic Park. He graduated from there and he's on record saying that he got a good education. Howard Gordon, who wrote 24, came from there. The CEO of Activision, the founder of Home Depot, COO of the Mets, Jen Selter. There's a reason why they have teachers talking about real estate, because they know that the houses are worth more when the public schools around are really good. Town is only as good as its public school system. So knowing rich people, these parents pretty much treat educators like customer service employees. You listen to me! You don't want to see us as people because that is not convenient to you. So it really is a game of take and take. Students are defending Frank because he's writing their letter of recommendations, so they're willing to change and tweak the headlines, you know? They're just continuing to cover mold with paint. It's not perfect, but it works. What we have here works. I hope we can keep it that way. I also found Phil, the auditor, paralleled Rachel's father and his knowledge of his peers' insider trading, which brings up the question, once you know, are you still an innocent bystander? There's no doubt that what they did was wrong, but you know, it's still got them to be top five. It's not dismissing their wrongdoings. It's just highlighting how others also took advantage of it. Yeah, look the other way. Just it. stop it. On the contrary, we come in here every day at the crack of dawn because we care. These are supervisors who give their all and receive like a fraction back. And it's crazy to think that it's really taken a pandemic for some parents to realize that they're also watching your kids for you while investing in their future. And that's what bad education does effectively. As Corey Finley told us, if the blame can't squarely fall on one individual, then it clearly falls on the system. It'll be the first skywalk on all of Long Island. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and I'm curious to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you've got this one over on HBO, I think it's a masterpiece. Every time I, I rewatch it, I keep finding new things. So, uh, I, you know, we were really lucky to get an interview, and that's all thanks to Zach. He was messaging a, as much as possible. Uh, if you're not watching over on the Intercut podcast, it, it's where we try to do interviews, uh, only for the movies that we really like. It's the only time we reach out. We usually always get told no. So whenever we get told yes, and it's for a movie we actually really, really like, that's pretty dope. So 
So uh, he was cool enough to talk for 45 minutes over there. Uh, and there's a lot of other great stuff from the writer as well. Who also claimed he had a great education because it's crazy to think that the guy he's writing the story on, uh, he hired the teachers who made him be the writer he is. He single-handedly kind of shaped my education. He hired every single one of the teachers that like shaped who I am today, both as a human and as a writer. My high school, middle school teachers that taught me how to like write when I was a kid were my first readers on the script because they had all been there at the time. And so it was like they're, you know writing notes in the margins of my scripts like they used to write my papers. So yeah, it's crazy, you know. It's also crazy to think that the good guys couldn't even remember his uh, fake ex-wife. But I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. It also had a great score, uh, composer of Us and Get Out, so there's also that to it. And I really think uh, that there's a lot of cool aspects to it, but I really hope, considering that it got the HBO release, that we find a way to get a bunch of the deleted scenes, because there's some uh, there's some really cool stuff uh, that, I, that I hope gets released that were in the outtakes. Um, I'm curious to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Any other things that you noticed there? If you went to the school, if you're one of the fashion kids who gave money to uh, Pam's... Th Pam's not a character, but the real Pam, I I'm curious to know what else happened during that time definitely let me know of any other stuff you want us to cover down below in the comment section let me know your theories your thoughts all of that and until next time don't forget to comment like and subscribe and you too can walk the, the sky